This is my M1 MacBook Air which I use to record my gameplay videos. So in this video I'm going to be showing you my PPSSPP settings for Armored Core Lost Raven on an 8GB M1 MacBook Air. So first of all let's begin with the back end. When I was playing on a Lenovo ThinkPad, an old one, OpenGL was the only one I could get to work properly. However, most modern computers like the one I have right now can run on Vulkan, so I'd recommend that you run Vulkan. Next we have the rendering resolution. If you have a weak PC like I did back in the day, 1x or 2x resolution works fine, but for me, I can pretty much like run 10x resolution if I want to, but I run on a 4K television, so I just do 8x, and I have zero problems with it. Now you can choose to run full screen, but I choose not to. Vsync as well, personally as someone who has played so many PC games on a weak laptop, I just turn on Vsync. I'd rather have tearing than have really bad FPS. So that's my personal preference. Then for the post-processing, I used to run the PSP Color 1 back in the day, but these days I really don't care, I just run nothing. Then for frame skipping, I'm not an expert, so personally I just max it out. Once again, as an experience from running old computers, I just find that frame skipping is always the better option. Personally, I find that number of frames allows me to push the frame skipping even harder. So that's what I do. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but that's how I run it. Then over here, you set the settings I run. I don't know if they make a difference. We have performance here, where I just left it up to one. I use hardware transform with software skinning. The stuff I just mostly kept with the default settings I was using back in the day. Then you have texture filtering. If you have lots of performance headroom, then I'll turn this on because it makes a massive difference in just how good the game looks. Check out my video where I destroyed an army in 24 hours, or whatever it's called, where I defeated the Leviathan path in this game. And there I use the texture upscaling and honestly, it makes the game look really good considering how old it is and that it was made for a PSP. So I run it at max, which is 5x, but if you struggle with performance, I would suggest you turn it off because with some games, it really does destroy your computer's resources. Then you have anisotropic filtering. I just max it out again. You can turn it off if you want to. I didn't used to use this uh, back in the day. Then you can also show the FPS counter and speed and battery, but uh, yeah, that's up to you. Then my controls, I already did a video where I showed you my controls. So if you're interested in those, I can go watch that video. Then we have the audio, which is, and for audio, I obviously have sound enabled, maxed out with global volume, all of this other jazz. I just leave it like this. I never mess with it. Networking, I've never tried multiplayer, so I don't use that. The tools, uh, hey, here's all my save data, if you're interested. <laughs> here's my computer information, if you're interested. Oh, I actually didn't know you can actually change your memory stick directory. So I suggest you change that to somewhere where you are familiar with. Or if you're like me, you can even run the emulator off of a flash drive, which is pretty cool. Then for mem memory stick, size i set it to 16 gigs i never really mess with this you're all, all the stuff and if you want to use that rewind feature that i mentioned in my controller video you can see this thing right over here called rewind snapshot interval so if you look at rewind snapshot interval this essentially determines how often the game will create a save state that you can rewind back to so i normally set it to 300 the rewind snapshot essentially tells you after how many frames should the game take a save state so for example i think i used to run 300 300 divided by the game's frames per second which is 30 60 on the ps2 but yeah 30 here that means i can rewind up to 10 seconds back which from what i found is just enough and i've never ever needed more than that you can also auto load a save state which i never do uh, and that's it if you have any questions let me know